We're hearing the zoning the Board of Appeals of the Town of Grand Allen is now in session. The meeting may also be joined by a Zoom through a link from our webpage and view live on YouTube. I'd like to introduce the members of the board, Betty Harris, John Brattle, Dan Rexilius, and Mike Todaro, and he's our alternate. I'm Robert Messmer, Chairman. Also in attendance tonight is the Board Enforcement Officer, Nick Conchera. Matters before the board this evening will be taken in the order in which they appear on the agenda. The board will hear and decide appeals pursuant to the provisions of the laws of the state of New York. This is a legal hearing and all participants should consider themselves to be sworn to make accurate statements in charge of bringing all pertinent facts to the board's attention. Any discovery of false testimony and or withholding of facts will be grounds for a ruling review and reconsideration. As each agenda item is addressed, the, uh, the appellant or the representative will be addressed to present their request. After the board hears from the appellant, we will we'll hear from anyone wishing to speak for or against each issue. All parties will be required to give their name and address for the record. Once a determination has been made, any party who feels aggrieved by the CPA's decision may file an Article 78 proceeding with the State Supreme Court within 30 days of filing of the said decision with the State, excuse me, with the Town Clerk's Office. This hearing will now commence. Will the first appellant please come forward, give your name and address for the record, and please turn off your phones. Give your address, please. Michael Toronto, 3506 Sandy Beach Road. Yes, sir. What would you like to do? Uh, tear down my existing one car garage, which is a real small for my need, came with the vehicle in it, and add a larger attached garage with combined mudroom and covered patio in the rear. Okay. I'm requesting a side and rear variance. The uh, existing will match the existing garage offset, which is a little over five feet, and the rear variance um, will be twenty five feet. Will be twenty five feet from the rear property line. I'm sorry, which is less than forty feet. Um, okay. Only affects my backyard, and then the uh, overall size of the garage. I believe the max was nine hundred. I'm asking for eleven and change, just to store tools and go in order. Okay. Any further? Nope. Okay, what kind of seat purchased the map? Would anyone like to come forward in regard to the 3506 Sandy Beach Road? Oh, okay. Anyone have questions? Mm -hmm. Any questions at all? You, can you use the mic? Can hear you? Down by there last night, it looks like you're using the same existing area that um, this garage currently is. There's no use of space in the backyard. Okay. Um, anything further on this? That would be well, okay. Would someone like to make a motion to close the public meeting for 3506 Sandy Beach? Motion by Betty. I'll second. second by Dan. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Uh, doesn't appear to be a great variance. There's a number on them. So we'd like to make a motion for one of the variances within one at a time. <laughs> Yeah, I'll take some office though. Sorry. For 3506 KDB, what are you going to do them individually? You want to do them individually? Very of more attached garage. Oh. A variance of amount of 255 square feet. Square feet. Motion by John, second by. I will. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. For 3506 Sandy Beach Road, required rear yard setback. A 15 foot rear yard setback is requested. Okay, a motion by John, seconded by me. By Michael. All in favor? Aye. Aye. 3506 Sandy Beach Road required side yard setback, a three foot side yard setback from the south line. Okay, motion by John, seconded by me. I will. Michael. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Rationale. 
Mm -hmm. Storage. Deeper storage and it shouldn't make the property look. Yeah, it looks very nice. Nice. Okay. Good. You're all set. Just get it from that. Thank you. Put it in the right spot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just like that. That's right. Okay. okay. Item number two. Uh, let's see. 344 Fire Wallace Drive. Uh, There's someone online, but I'm not sure who they're here to speak about. Uh, whoever's online, uh, what project are you here to speak upon or speak for? Okay, um, 3444 Wallace Drive appears he wants a six foot fence and a front yard sent back. Robert, I have to recuse myself. I don't know if I'll be doing that. Oh, and Dan would recuse himself. Does anyone have any comments on this at all? Any comments? No. Just the side of it, just the road side of the road side. Got it. Yep. Okay. Anything else? No. Okay. Okay. Someone like to make a motion to close the public meeting? I will. I'll second. Small motion by Michael, second by Betty. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, um, I don't see a huge problem with this, do you? So, no, no. Okay, someone like to make a motion. I make a motion to bring the three foot height variance to 344, 3444 while it's done. Motion by Betty, seconded by? I will. Michael, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, rationale. C for privacy. I imagine Ezra was all that great looking Same. side, I guess. Should have been the problem. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, that one's passed. Number three. 76 Carol Lane. Name and address, please. Uh, Mary and David Blankenberg, 76 Carol Lane. Yes. Okay, tell us what you'd like to do. Well, I mean, she here was looking for like three variants of Down in the 34 to 40 minutes the front. So we're looking for a 12 foot variance. Okay. The next is the requirement of eight foot for the side, and we're looking for a five foot variance. The other side of the house is again eight foot requirement, and we're looking for six foot setback, so we get a two foot. Uh, and anything further? Well, it'd be you need to know like, what we're looking to do. So we, we have to have a lot of. So plans, we have most everything we need, I believe. Yeah, the here is an open the design of the house we're looking for, not necessarily that it's gonna be all white like that. It's, we wanna continue with our house, bump out the garage, bump it over towards the side property, allow for a whole one side garage storage. We get ourselves out of the snow for the winter. We both have our condition. I think we got to place a key set three sets in, in place. And then the other one is we want to do a fully handicapped bathroom addition off of the back corner of the house. My initial thought is if I could extend even the whole house five feet, but I am I can negotiate it to just do my bedroom, which is like the center of the house, back. So I don't have to use more space, but I can show you on the picture of more of what we want to do. We're, we're pretty much familiar with what you want to do. Okay, that's correct. Uh, I want you to realize from what I've been told by the building department that. There, there could be a problem here. I don't know if you're aware of it. Uh, when you build that close to the property line, it has to all be fireproofed. Be fireproofed. Yes, so we, when we talked to Cortini's construction, he, he initially said that, that you need to build a fireproof wall to help um, alleviate that concern. Would that be yeah, we said downside? Well, however, like I said, we get the variance, 
our architect is waiting for us and he would draw up with a paper him and then rotators, like you said, he would work through all those concerns of like I said, the foyer wall, wherever it has to be, whatever yeah. it needs to do. It's tricky to do because they have to fire rated on both sides. Yeah, yeah. So he, so he mentioned about it and, and the interior because like, oh, don't they just do like a double wall um drywall? He goes, No, 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 we do an exterior too. Yeah. So I don't know the specifics of that. They shorten the opening too, just so you know. Okay. Like it wouldn't be allowed like one foot over here. You have to have like four inches. On the side of the house? Where it's close to the line. Yeah. Right now we have no overhang. Oh. On the house. It, the house is just that's still allowed. Yeah. It's still and I believe there's something with windows too, I believe. But arena. Like so it's so close to the line. Yeah, very close. Well, just spread from out to out. Yeah, so they said they said they would work through whatever those needs are for that fireproofing. Mm -hmm. Yes, which they can tell you that. that's something that you should yeah. talk to them about when they come in with plans. Mm -hmm. I don't think I don't know. It's just not enough. Um, yeah, it should. Be. I don't know. It's hard to say. So, who has a question? What kind of car do you have? We have a Toyota Highlander and a Toyota Camp. Where are you going to park those? There is enough room. I chalked it out. Both the Highlander and the Camry can fit in front, and I'm going to have the driveway wide for right now. It's two cars, but it's tight, but I want it wide so it's two where you can open up your doors and exit. Where it doesn't block the side. Yeah. It can't block the side. Yeah, no, no. Our, we're, we're, you're showing on your plan that you only got 16 feet. I chalked it out and I parked my car there, so that's all I know. Understand. So you block the view of your neighbors going out of their driveways. You block the view of, of your, yourself being able to do that. Well, with my car? Yeah. There's already cars that are parked right to the to the sidewalk now. And my neighbor previous, of course, like that's where they had two cars that they were tandem and they had two SUVs, but they were always parked right to the sidewalk. Neighbor down the road has an RV. That's parked right to the sidewalk. You can get a truck in bumpers on the sidewalk, you know, and that's eight months out of the year. I think I didn't think it was an issue because, like I said, my car will be outside and the uh, Highlander will be inside or whatever vehicle we have at that time. So it'll still be enough for a full car between the garage and the sidewalk. I'm just got problems that it's just too tight on the property. Mm -hmm. Two feet off on the front corner, it's not enough for anything. Putting gutters, downspouts, or having the drainage, you'll be at a neighbor's property. Yeah, right now we don't have a downspout on that side of the house right now. Yeah, well, that's not good. It either. comes over to the side because I didn't want it to go over towards the neighbor. It kind of probably goes along with that letter from somebody that we received about uh, how your water's coming onto their property now. And right. it just we're in a slop, slop anyways. There's water everywhere. It doesn't matter where you are. Everyone has water. I, I understand that. But that caused foundation issues. It caused all kinds of issues down the road. So we're here to protect you at the same yeah. time. Okay. And you're you're asking for the you're you're cramming too much house on too small a lot. Exactly. But am I well, that's what I think too? But I, I think it's gonna fit with the neighborhood. It's not like I'm parking a utility vehicle in my driveway 12 months out of the year. Every house in that neighborhood are 30 feet. I thought it was good. There's a reason why they're set at 32. So you can park the car if you have no parking uh, yeah. and the snow on the outside. You have no place to put your snow removal, okay, without showing on the neighbor's land. And we have all those people come and complain to us, but we don't do that. That's the building department. Um, but I've got a real serious issue being two, three, and three feet away from the property On both sides of the house? All, all on. You know what I mean? And that's what you're at. I mean, you're, yeah. We, we, most houses coming today that are new in the building department are minimum 10 feet. Okay. Yeah, I understand. And there, there's a reason for it too. And I'm going to help you out. What kind of side are you going to put on this uh, left hand side of the house? So the side where you want to put the bathroom on? It'd be whatever we, our existing side we have. Like, well, so That's flammable. What were they? side of the house with the bathroom yeah well then what would i have to do to make it work yeah uh, yeah you're, you're, you're creating something that is just not in my eyes that i can't personally say yeah i'm comfortable okay. with well on that side of the house there's no real physical structure that we're close to it, like the garage is it's, uh, way right next to it. it's not right next to it's not not the additions with the bathroom 
But what I'm saying is, if you have a fire, you're definitely going to have a problem. With your that's the distance. I got And that's I, I, I've done it. Well, yeah. Okay. I've seen it physically. And, 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 and I look at it and I say to myself, you're coming way too far out front, okay, with the garage for me to be comfortable with because every house down there is 30 feet back. And you want to be like 16. It's too big of a variance. Yeah, for I mean, I, that, that's asking me for a 50 percent variance. We don't well, think that they sold it or here they ask. I just didn't know it. Yeah, no, I got it. <laughs> listen, and I'm with you. I'm just trying to explain to you because somebody else would use yours variance against us somewhere else and say, well, we want to come much closer so that we can have a 50% variance. Well, to me, I think for other homes in the area, I think it would be nice to have a nice garage where they could have their car out of the elements. <clears throat> they had to come forward. I was talking to another man in the backyard. He wants to put a big two car garage in his backyard. And so I said, Wait, you have enough room. He's in almost a four car in his garage. I go, if you bumped up in the front, you could have a nice boom garage to catch your house and you're in the house. So I think it would help different areas easily. Especially we seem to be an older area community. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a 30 to look at a picture from her view of it, showing all the houses in the metro. Okay. And that also was dealt with the fire force at the same time. Our fire codes have changed and become very more strict, you know, than it was before. So I just don't really feel comfortable. Yeah, so I'm just no, no, that's fine. explaining it to you so that you, you understand why I didn't see what I said. No, no, I agree. Believe it or not, we're your no, 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 that's when I talked to First Cortez, and that's what they we talked about. Like I said, the fire rating on that side of the house. We didn't talk about fire rating on the addition of where the bathroom would be because there was no physical structure. Obviously, yes, we were close to Charlie's house, but we weren't close to which. It is, in my eyes, I can't. I'm just going to be honest here. I, I just can't keep my okay. appearance. Okay. just came to learn. We're trying to make the house work. Sure. I got Getting your retirement for me in a couple of years. This is, everything's so expensive. Make sure you use the mic. We're just trying to make it. I know. Ron, make sure you use the mic. We just want to, you want, yeah. you wanted to be in a garage. Yeah, have, I got you. So I mean, either move or you know, do something else. So I mean, I'm just saying that's what we just need. You know, you're not so much of the inside of the house. It's such beautiful things. Is there any way to put a seat on this in the physical house? You'd have to come in here. 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 You'd have and they made a gigantic lawn so they have been in it, but they're see, I think right? I could actually negotiate it to where so that Italian, I put this is the side of the house, is that that crazy? But and then it's like, and we come out laundry. maybe to here, so to come out by here, right? So we go straight, come out right here, go all the way back. Yeah, we thought he was the house. You know, even to, to like give us a better bandwidth, yeah. so we come might need our daughter's closet and go back. Because that will give us a 10 by 10 bathroom. And, it bumped the and then this will give me more. And the deposit will be a wheelchair. And she'll have a bed. And, 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 and then one of our. So it's trying to make it more handicap accessible. I know to you, I work with people. I see people kick out of their homes. We're looking for the future. He just sat there and drew off all that. He put it up on the ground. That was too far from that. Obviously, people have been always in the stack of the laundry. So we're expecting the most. Thank you for our plan. Oh, that has to go back to the bank. I would have it. I'm grateful. Yeah, it's nice. You know what? We've been in the house. So if I can be born happy. Like I said, I could stop again. I could start getting the like reasonable. Yeah, this was my ideal the further back it goes and why the property gets. Did you ask about just the bathroom? That's what we're just discussing. Oh, yeah, we were thinking just the bathroom. Well, it's sending just our bedroom and doing back to the bathroom. Because we have a space in the backyard that doesn't even meet to the end of the house. I thought I'm not comfortable with the road. I don't think there's enough room there for kids on the sidewalks and that kind of But I'm not totally against the side yard. With the going to the back, 
that that I don't see as a, as a great addition, but stay to the front. Like I said, my opinion. If like my grand idea would be if I could extend the whole house at five feet, because then that makes that's just a little better in the front. It's like nine by eleven. Yeah, it's tiny. So in the future, that, that'd be nice for another you know kid in there. It'd be you know it's cheaper 15. to go up. It's cheaper to go up. And it wouldn't allow people to look good. I don't even know if the foundation would support a single yeah. story. Then yeah, we're on slab. We got no storage. Is it possible to go to the rear of the house? That's what it was saying. The bathroom would extend to the rear of the house. Yeah. There's like an, an existing. There's an added family room on the back that used to be the porch. And then there's a space that doesn't even go all the way to the end of the house. So we could put a bathroom that space that would meet the end of the house or go out a couple feet just to get a bathroom. Not sure. bathroom. What you may want to do is uh, you won't have to reapply. I would. This is me, but that's it's up to you. You could table this until next month, drop a new set of plans. You can see what we're against right now. If you go out towards the back, we, we're willing to work with you, but we, we have three problems, one on each side and one on the front. So how does this work? Is this uh, one person says no, or does what is there a, a, it's a, a majority? If three people vote for it, yeah, you're in. Um, and I don't have three votes. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that, that's up to you. Whatever you want to do, we can do it. And you've got a contract to you can go for it. That's a good thing. If you're just dealing with a bathroom issue, I think it's going to not have a problem with that. I think, but I think the garage yeah. is a huge problem. Just because it's not curved, it's tight, it's not going to be, I mean, you're not going to park up against the garage door, you park right up against the garage door. So if you stay three feet back, you know, I mean, your 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 buffers out in the sidewalk area, and we do have people that enforce it. If you want to say, you know, you got a motor home there, we had a gentleman on ramps and all that, you know, came in here and said that's the only place you can park. Well, that's not true. You can park it someplace else, not this property, you know. But he was blocking the sidewalks, and a lot of kids use those sidewalks and get to the high school. So, you know, he got back quite a few times, and then he decided it was cheaper to move that. So all I'm saying to you is what Bob's offering you up. Yeah. Table. The chance to say table it, your permit's still open. You don't have to pay for it again. Okay. Mm -hmm. You can see you get you can work something out. And if you come back and say, no, we can't work anything out, and Ron, you will see him anytime, and he's gonna help you. Mm -hmm. Okay. The building stuck. He always does. He's a good guy. So and he knows where we normally will bend to. But when you get down to two and three feet. Yeah, well, I know, that, but that's what we do. We have two and three. That's what we do within the house. Yeah, if, if, if your lot, what's I get it. If your lot comes <laughs> in a little bit and stuff like that, so I get it. We build a bigger shed in the bathroom by two bolts way. <laughs> you guys know Dave Wunsch? Yeah. He's done every single thing in that house for twenty years. Every nail, every so <laughs> ask him. He came in. He. Blame it on Dave. We brought Dave in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, we could do this. And so. but, but, but if you want to gain space, well, I'll back it. Easier to gain. We're yeah. already in the back though. There's a one addition. Is, I couldn't, yeah, I couldn't do the garage. The too. It's a beautiful house. You walk in and it's like, people are like, this is this new? Because you really got it. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. But we know, we're going to table. Yeah, we're going to take it over. I need the most Who should buy the table? Oh. All in favor, I make a motion to table. Okay, motion by Dan. I'm sorry, I By Dan. Oh, I'm sorry. We didn't close the other. Well, no, though. You don't want to. You don't want to. Yeah. Okay, somebody comes along and get them. Perfect. Okay, motion by Buddy, seconded by Dan. All in favor? Aye. 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 Come back. First, there's a section one. It'll be, let's see. Um, yeah, it'll be August 1st. Okay. It has to be last time. It's July, so there's two weeks of no golf. We'll work with as much as possible. Okay. Yep. Thank you. Okay, number four. Um, 055 East River Road. My name is Michael Delasanti, 31 Tiffany Place, East Amherst, New York. 
Julie Freeland, 2055 East River. And tell us what you'd like to do. Um, so Julie has a split parcel on East River. Her permanent structure is on the south side. The north side is a garage, which I believe the the history is fuzzy, but I believe that used to be the permanent structure, which um is now was now abandoned. And then the previous owner before Julie had put up in a garage or renovated the garage. And so that is basically what it is now. And so she wants to renovate it to make like a recreational building. So uh, a workout space, still a, a garage on the on the ground floor and then and then expand the existing second floor to have um, you know a lounge area, a simulator, billiards room, workout space. So a rec, rec building. I mean, what you're looking for is basically a variance for five foot. So side yards, height, and area. Now, sorry, before, um, so the existing footprint, we are not touching. So it's basically the building is at a point where we're going to have to tear it down. But we're not moving the foundation or anything like that. So the footprint is existing and will stay existing. But, uh, I'm going to say have a seat, but we can look here. <laughs> okay, Nick, do you have any other one online? Uh, there are a few online. If anyone wishes to speak regarding 2055 East River, you could speak now. I don't believe so. Okay, I would like to make a motion to close the public meeting. Motion by Betty, second by Michael. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Just a question. Which building are you going to tear down the one at the water and rebuild it? No. The other one. The other one. All right, so the north side of East River. All right. Well, it looks like there's two or three structures. Which ones are we talking about? This one? That's the one yes. This is, well, this is all connected. So it's all one new structure, but it, that the whole thing is going to basically come up. Wasn't sure. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's pretty darn big to take down. <laughs> no, we just built that was just built in like 15 years ago. <laughs> but the one that we're talking about, too, like I think a tree fell through it, there might have been a fire. Like it's, I mean, literally, it's dilapidating right now. Okay. Anything further? Questions? The, the yeah, there's a picture here now, and we looked at this, and, mm -hmm. and the whole building is so the whole building is coming down. Correct. Right. Yeah, Correct. And then you're just going to build on the same footprint. You, you got, got it. it. Really clear about yeah, same footprint. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. What's that right now? Everything along that particular area is all messed up. Not the last. Oh yeah. <laughs> This is for personal use, not commercial use. Anymore. Personal use. Because I don't have a basement or attic, so like I play a lot of sports, and so there's like nowhere right now for me to put my like hockey equipment. I want to, I want to have a gym on that side, so more just you know, I don't know, a place for my Christmas tree. This appears to be nothing really unusual for the area. The height of the the building and stuff starts your tear down. What's the highest height for the height of that? You know. Um, you tearing down. I believe you're asking for a uh, no, yeah, both of them. Both of them. that's right. Never mind. I'm good. Okay, I'm good. Okay, John, you want to 30 feet tall? Pardon? You want to 30 feet tall? You want to 12 foot height? Mm -hmm. That's what I thought I was. Doing. That's right. So, that's so I am right. It's not, it's not the side yard, it's 30 feet height. Yeah, our building can be 30 foot high. Yeah. What is the height of the building you're tearing down? What's the maximum height of the um, Do you, you know ballpark on that? I, I do. Hold on a second. I have a number of notes. Pardon? Pardon? That's what I'm thinking. It's yeah, there. I think it is. I think it's, you know, let's say 10, 10, that's 20, and then it's a uh, feet move. Yeah. They make feet on that. You know what I mean? So it's 28 feet, so he's great. Yeah. It's all what he's down. The height is 
probably not going to change all that much. You know, it fits there. into the house next. There's a house next to me that they. Yeah, we're, we're, the, the the goal is not to go any higher than what is adjacent to her property. So yeah. it's not going to be any higher than that. No, it's this one. That's just the garage. I thought that was the primary dwelling. Mm -hmm. No, that's a garage. Yeah. This is just the garage. The house is literally on the water. Yeah. I was there yesterday. That's the correct. other house is literally on the water. Yes. So that you can fish from your living room. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That close. Yeah. It is. It's don't, don't judge those weeds. It's another, it's not a project. It's another right. project. Yeah, different, different <laughs> project, different day. Yes. I was just going to add one comment. We did have a discussion with the contractor, too. You know, since it is an accessory structure, no kitchens, it can't be utilized as an apartment or a second. Dwelling structure is just an accessory structure for recreational use. So he, he did go through the limitations on that as well. If we should, if we should grant you this, make sure that that doesn't happen. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I agree. It's a problem with one time. I don't, I don't like people to be honest, so I, I, to be honest, there won't be, I'm not inviting anyone to a person. It looks like you don't get a turn. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are wrong, but after that, yeah, I don't. All right. Uh, are you <laughs> Who'd like to make a motion for property at two zero? We already did close. We did. I'm sorry. Two zero flat by the East River. We got three variances. One. I'll one. make a motion for for twenty fifty five East River Road. We'll do them individually, Bob. Yes. It requires set side yard setback or accessory structure. It'll be a 21 foot side yard setback. I'll okay. second. Motion by Dan, second by John. All in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, for 2055 East River Road on the height of the accessory structure um, for a 12 foot variance. Good with it. Yeah. I'll second. Motion by Dan, second by John. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Third I'll make the third one at 2055 East River Road, the area of the accessory structure, 1400, which is 1630, it's minor, 200 square foot area of is what she's asking for. Motion by Dan, second by John. John. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And the fourth one at 2055 East River Road, the required side yard setback because of the height of the structure. Um, it has to have a 17 foot from the northeast plot line. A motion by Dan, seconded by John. John. All in favor? Aye. 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 Just remember what we said. I'm serious. Yeah. He, you can make conditions if you wanted to. Yeah. Yeah. No, we got to, we could say it. We, we can't, we can't it. Trust me, I really, I really don't <laughs> like people that much. They, they have people across the street from me. Yeah. <laughs> so. No, I'm just, I just, again, I'm excited to, to make it look nice. So. It, it, you're the zoning board. If you want to make conditions on a zoning variance that you're granting, that is in your power to do so. I, I thought we could do We could do yes, right? Yeah, pretty much. I, I'll vote for it. But I'm not sure. But I'll finish it for 2055 East River Road. It's we'll put it into the variance that there'll be no living in that structure. They'll be not only occupied for your request of recreational type of things. Okay. Yep. No problem. Get a pin back. Thank you. So get a pin. Okay. So get into that one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm glad that that was some good. If I were to put it to problem, second it, please. I'll second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Last one. Last we got one. I tell you, that's the improvement. <laughs> You're really going to build in this, should have been in housing court and uh, making it into something that's going to be very good. Yeah. And I'm all for it. Actually, I, I think that yeah. the, the that's, what, the, that's what got the ball rolling. I'm just staying on the same footprint. So.
Uh, last one is 2195 Long Road. This is uh, old business from last month. Um, has there been any plans submitted? Any survey? Survey? I wouldn't know. I believe that's one thing we requested. But the only thing we requested is a survey. They're not here and you did not receive them. Is that correct? Not even a form to work with them. No, I don't believe so. I don't know who this number is. Uh, there is a number here four nine four zero one five nine nine. I'm not sure who that is on the meeting. I know the uh the other person online is the the neighbor. The neighbor. Well, I mean, they're not either, but I'm just trying to get the survey. Well, I'm not against, uh, but, but they have a letter of most of the right. Yes. Right. No, it's from the neighbor. No. Yeah, the neighbor said she collects it, which she looking for her property line, not his. The way I read it. He gave him a key for the survey. He had it surveyed. After he saw the survey, he pulled out the stakes. So. Okay. Then he realized that's four feet on their front. So, all right, then tell me if, if we if we vote this down, what are the ramifications then? What's that? What we're saying, no, are we saying now he's got to tear the building down, take it out? Is that what you're saying? I'd say yes. Or maybe. Just say, it's an easy building to disassemble. Okay, as far as I'm concerned, I build them all day long. Oh, well, wait, wait, hold on. Let, let's let's go back and, and, and look at the stuff that you saw. I've read all that. Okay. So I can't in good conscience grant this thing for this gentleman for one reason, one reason only. This board can be disbanded and the building department should be disbanded. And the reason being is that means anybody can go ahead and build whatever the heck they want. I'm not listening to any of the rules and, and just keep following ahead. I, I mean, I had a chance when they told the just build and poles in it, John. And he got a stop work order. And he openly defied the stop work order. He went ahead and completed the whole building mm -hmm. while everybody's on vacation. Okay. I know. I, okay. So it's even we, I, I don't see Wait, any sorry. rationale. So if you want to explain the rationale of why you would want to I, not do it to him. I, I think I always I always want to side with the citizen on that. Give them the best chance of success. You know, I don't want to shoot them down for any reason. I want to give them every chance to take that. Now I told them that there was medical issues with that man, and his wife was here with an attorney, and the attorney said that they would get a completed survey to us. Now I grant you, it's not here, and you've had I take it from them. You've had no correspondence. That's just. <clears throat> Part of me, I don't understand. I guess I guess maybe you're right. I don't get me wrong, you're right. No. But it's just that you know, I just don't like to kick somebody when they're down. And I realize this guy stepped on so many brothers yeah. next to where we were putting conduct the line. So yeah. So I don't think the model thing condition that would be that bad. We have two choices. We can turn it down on we can vote on it. She said we can vote on it tonight, or we have 62 days from the time they the last meeting, I should say, again, two vote on it. How many months has this been on the table? Uh, this is a, this is the last month. It's the first time it was not uh, right. I was asked to be paid by the applicant. So then, you as the board could table it, but I, I mean, you as the board could table it. Because the applicant tabled it last time, but then you have to render your decision, I believe, on the next meeting. It's in the timelines in your paperwork. I don't have it on top in front of me. Well, I think he was supposed to go to court with his neighbor to work out the driveway. Last I understood, when they were here, they said the driveway is being worked out in court. Then a letter comes from the neighbor saying that they rescinded their letter and there's no work there. 
No, I want to clarify that she was resending the previous letter that the attorney was bringing up during the meeting that they were in favor of the project, the one back when they were under the uh, assumption that the garage was going to be on the west side of the property line. That's what she was resending, the one that the attorney was referencing that they had an approval letter from the neighbor. That is what she's resending. The, the, the story has changed from her the original submittal of that letter. Well, when they were here last, weren't they? Didn't they tell us that they were going to? to well, it, it, the driveway on their property is a civil suit between the two neighbors. Okay. You know, in reality, this board has denied him the variance for the driveway zero feet to the property line. That is what he's in violation of your decision as a board. Yeah. But whatever's beyond that property line is a civil matter between two parties. Okay. So in right right now he's still in violation of your decision as a board. Do I understand that he's in court? He is right currently now, in court for, for from the building department for all the violations of not having anything inspected, not doing the things that he was told to do properly. Yes, he is in court for both the building for and the driveway. The court's waiting for our decision on this before the court can act. Yes. The neighbor submitted the letter. Yes, and that's the one that John was speaking about, I believe, about the letter. Um, but it, yes, it, that letter was from the neighbor to replace the first to replace the first one. Basically, in that letter, she talked about resending her previous letter. I think that's like the first sentence, I believe, in the letter. Yeah, I don't have it in front of me. Where's where's on board? Yes, uh, she is online. If she would like like to speak, she could speak now if she would like to. Um, Oh, I could ask her to unmute. I don't know if she has the ability to speak. She might just be listening in. It's hard. I don't. Yeah, so. Um... I could travel them to get two months. They made them remove the summer so the fish and swim to the big day. Thousand dollar a day. That's one of the questions. So the property was surveyed at your point. Right. One there. Yes. I completed the work. Oh, so they in the property, but it just doesn't put in the paper back. I think what this is the word of that we know of because of service. Well, when I look at the line, there's another building back there that but I see two markers and I see the, 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 the new building off to the left, a short distance. But if you look straight, it looks like there's another building that's not on there. It's left. It looks like it's on the long property. And this, this is the this is a big issue. If it's not wrong, it's not an impact. Well, John, that's not our issue. Our issue is doing something we don't understand. I guess, I guess the thing that Danny is says that, and I know this is a huge mess, and mm -hmm. the answer is, it came to both, because I felt in my heart that the guy did everything wrong, did everything I, I told him about. But until I need to share that this is all I mean, this, his wife was in here. Sean, he started before his medical. Oh, yeah, I know that. I, okay. Yeah, I agree. So, yeah. And, and also, I don't know if you overheard what Ron said before. Uh, he was approached by one of the elect licensed electricians on the island, and they were inquiring about this property because the homeowner was looking to install electrical into his new garage, still under a stop work order. Just Add that to the record as well. Okay, so so if, if, we, if we vote, what are we voting down? If we, if we vote right now, what are, what are we what are we doing? So the the garage, 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 where, garage where we gave them yeah, the authority to do it. Where it was supposed to go. It, 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 it doesn't include the driveway. No, what we're no, talking about. No, 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 no the, the, the driveway is currently in court, but for whatever reason, court combined the cases, so it's just delaying the driveway. But the building is a separate matter. The driveway is illegal, one hundred percent, and we are handling that in court. The uh, building itself—that's where court 
order them to come in front of this board to basically attempt to get relief from the zoning law for the building for the location they built. And that that is where the decision lies in you. If you pass or deny, we'll still forward and we'll move forward in court. There are other issues at the hand, like the building permit. They don't have a building permit, no inspections. Right. But that's a separate matter that we have to do on our department. The, na the neighbor, if you look at the front of their house, and they were on their right, what was their, um, I don't know, if you're talking, what was their position on they're the ones that sent the letter. They're, that, that is them. From yes. The okay. That's over the driveway. Yeah, they're the ones. They, I mean, I, be, I believe, I mean, she's on the call, but I don't know if she has the ability to speak. But from my knowledge, I believe they're against it based off of the new knowledge and the learning that the driveway is on their property and they don't know how close. Plus, there's also a whole bunch of other issues that are not relevant to this more than is this. But what you're saying is, she has issues with the driver of the court. Yes. So she has issues with the building order. I believe so. Yes. No. I say, um, I struggle with this so much. You know. I'm just table. No, no. Not a joint vote on it. No, and, really and not vote my way, and you guys don't vote your way. That's the way it works. That's, okay. the, that's the way it works. We can do it. Any way you want. You guys decide. If right. you want, I mean, if you want to table it as a board, you have that ability to do so. But I believe you have to render your decision at the next meeting. Well, I, I, we, you know, we, we made the point, too. I think it should count the calendar. Because they got five weeks of this month, okay? That if we only got 62 days in which to act, should be that, a yes. I think we're, I'm just looking at simple math, that we're a day or two behind. So by default, you would be allowed to keep that. No, it's, no, no, it's not your doubt, that. Last meeting was June 6th. Rather, what's the, when is the next meeting? What day? November 1st. November 1st. Uh, August 1st. How many days? <laughs> We're, 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 yeah, out we're of about there. So, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, roughly, we should know exactly. It should be no. Well, it's, it's not. It's You're meeting a week later than normal right now. So, yeah. there's an extra week. You count. You count the weekend, right? You can do it. I don't know how this is going to be. Last meeting, not, not the end of the meeting. It's the, you can't count the last meeting. They asked for the table. It's okay. only the new sure. table. Okay, I see. That's true, you're right. Wait, so we can make a mobile? First of all, that you can't get it on the line. I, I messaged her, I asked her, I don't think she has the ability to speak. I haven't gotten a response yet, so I'm not sure. Probably just listening. She might not have the ability to speak. I don't have a problem with most of the Give it a go, give the option. We can come back. We can come back and present it to us. Or we can even all three. Yeah, I don't know. So I'm bringing the survey. The table there. I mean, at least violence is happening. The issue about survey or dinner or dinner. We already know about it. Yeah. Survey was done and then walked out and threw it all away. I meant that part of it bothered me. That the attorney yeah. was involved and there was no correspondence. We're doing work. Attorney. Also, talking about possibly bringing the building down. Remember shrinking the building? So they, what, what, remember they talked about it? Or provide. So basically the outcome of tabling would be to either give them more time for them to produce a survey or an alternative plan to make the building legal. But that, that is up to your decision. So we're taking the field off the books. So we're taking the this is your discussion time so the vote to tear it now i tell you where i'm at right now this part of the department wants to give this guy any cheese again but if it's like this on the on the first of august our next meeting I, 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 I'm going to vote. Okay, would you like to make the motion? No, I think we're having a discussion. Everybody's got a right to talk about, to say what they feel. But everybody well, say what they feel. What do you feel? I feel we gave them a variance and there's several violations of one. Can you violate the court stop order or voting stop order on it and everything else? It's in the wrong place. I think we should move it. He's got the options. Let's go around the table. 
And he keeps going on and on and on and doesn't stop. Well, he got the majority of the And why? You remember saying he could put it up where it was. That's my attitude. On it. I'm so open to have to build. But he thinks he's gave everybody the finger when they got to stop work or he hasn't. Yeah. And right now he's doing this, that's the same thing. Mike, where you were? I would say, I, I, I think with Buddy, as far as he, he you know, threatened, well, then he threatened, the building department. threatened the building department and he's had every chance you know, he did this after a stop work order. If he cared anything, he very respectfully stating, he would have came to the building department, talked to them and say, I need this building up for whatever reason. Now, I'm sort of in favor of you because we're only time in three weeks. You guys are going to have to knock it down to start on links. It's going to be an expensive proposition. I'd say we wait for three weeks. So what, I can, what I would change questions. your mind, though? He's obviously not making the setback. We know 100% I, I he hasn't made the setback. If, so, if they were here tonight, what's the I said if they were here tonight asking for it and had a very reasonable discussion with us, and maybe we're waiting at another surveyor or waiting at other options. But I think it's a lack of respect to us. Not even well, has not also been on record that he's running a business in the residential area? Yes, that was the other thing. He's running a regular commercial business out of the residential area. I think he should. Yeah, he but, but both do it like you want to do, like Danny want to put it to the vote, and everybody vote and how it ends is how it ends. That's that's what it is. That's that's all right. That's the democratic way to do it. I'll make a motion for 2195 Long Road to reject everything that was there and allow them to still build where we originally gave them the okay to do. You, you can't do that. That variance was revoked. That's revoked? Yes. Oh. By your by your I, board. I I take it back. We'll say needs to be revoked. So I mean, yeah, I mean, you, you have to close the public meeting first oh. if you're going to vote. Motion to close the meeting by Betty. Seconded by me. By Mike. I want to deliver. I want to be Mike. It's short for Michael. <laughs> I'll make a motion for 2195 Long Road. Just can we not ex Okay, let's let's go over the criteria. I think Tim just joined. I think Tim just joined. Let's go over the criteria. Could you want to do a rationale before you make a no? Well, we could do it that way. No, we're, to, we're, we're, we're trying to probably work the most. Okay, I'm trying to clear How do we give us a little guidance? You're going to deny the request of a five foot side yard setback variant. That's all we have. That's all you have to do. That is the end. Well, let, let's go with the individual. That's, there's only one. Only one. That's it. That's, that's it. it. That's all we're looking at here a five foot side yard setback. I'll make the motion. Go on. Hang on. Hang on. This right here. It's perfect. One at a time. I want to do this right. Stand up and well, you want to hand it to me, too? Yeah. Well, we're not going to read and vote on each one, are we? Is that what you're looking to do, by the way? We're talk a little. Okay. We'll, for 2195 Long Road, will this variance cause an undesirable change in character of the neighborhood? Or detriment to nearby properties. Yes. Yes. We yes. agree. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Can the benefit be sought by the applicant applicant to achieve by some other method other than the variance? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Is the requested variance for the end? No. Okay. Will the proposed variance have an adverse impact on the physical and environmental conditions of the neighbor? Yes. yes. All you want. You already gave me three, so I'm going to go down the rest of the way. <laughs> okay. Is the alleged difficulty self creating? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. So four out of the five are, and it only takes one to reject it. Yes. Okay. Yes. So this doesn't meet the criteria of the ZBA. Okay. So I'm going to make the motion again to not grant the variance for five feet. 
on the side here. Okay, motion by Dan. Second. Second by Betty. All in favor? Aye. 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 I vote no. Okay. What else? Is everyone? Is everyone with the meeting? So that's June sixth. I have the meeting in order. No questions? Okay. Would someone like to make a motion? I'm going to go back to the January 5th. Six. Six. Yes, I can. Motion by the body, by Dan, all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Meeting was adjourned at 7 55 on June 11th. Great song. Great. I'm going to go to the meeting. 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 I'm going to go to